Kevin Hauser here with the Couple Creek Apple Nursery. Today we're showing how to bud graft very small diameter rootstocks. We're out here in the seedling rootstock nursery. These trees were started from seed about three to four months ago and we'll be grafting a good apple variety onto them. As you can see they are tall and thin and often droop over but we don't care as we're interested in the roots. The top of the tree will be cut off and discarded. In order to graft onto these small rootstocks, you need to find budwood that is about the same diameter or thinner than the rootstock trunk. Three millimeters is about the thinnest I'm comfortable with grafting. However, the budwood also needs to have mature buds on it, which can be tough to find that thin. The way to tell it's mature is when the bark has turned from green to brown, and you can rub the fuzz off of it like this. Grafting is done pretty much the same way it would be for a bigger rootstock. I strip off the leaves from a section of trunk where I'm going to place the bud and I make a T-shaped cut. Again I'm using a utility knife but just about any small knife will do for this. Cutting all the way through the bark into the wood. You take your thumbnail and if you're doing it this while the tree is vigorously growing the bark will easily peel back from the wood below it. Next I take my piece of bud wood, I trim the leaves off to make it easier to handle. Then I slice off one of the buds. Going almost halfway through the branch, make a long even slice. And if you're doing this while the bud wood is actively growing, you'll be able to peel the bark and the wood apart from each other like that. And you take this, make sure it's going to fit in that slot that you just made, and slide it in. You'll feel it grab hold if you did it right. Make sure it's totally enveloped with the bark. The bark wraps around the bud that you just put in there. Once the bud is in there, I'm going to do something a little different. That is, I'm going to break the leaf stem off. I'm going to take my parafilm tape. This is wax tape. And I'm going to wrap the entire bud, not leaving the leaf stem leaving out like I did on a bigger bud graft. I want this one to be completely wrapped with a parafilm tape. This is wax tape. And when the bud sprouts, it will sprout right through the tape. There's no danger of the tape girdling the tree. If you don't have the wax tape, you can do this with any other tape, like cut up plastic bags. However, you need to make sure that you cut it in about two weeks after you graft it, or else it will choke and girdle your bud graft. This is what the graft should look like after you're done with it. The last very important step that we need to do is label the tree. Because believe me, once you walk away from here and forget which one you butted onto that, they all look the same. You'll never figure out what tree that is until it starts bearing fruit. The end of the season, we'll cut off the top of the rootstock right above the bud and transplant it to a larger nursery where we will plant them 30 centimeters apart. There we will train them to grow up a single trunk of the budded variety that will get one to two meters tall. The next season, they are ready to be planted out in the orchard row or to be sold to other farmers. This whole process takes three seasons, and so if you start some seeds every year, you'll be harvesting trees every year also. So until next time, I'm Kevin Hauser with the Cuffle Creek Apple Nursery.